All right, folks, here we go. This is gonna be my first talk and tie. I'm gonna actually try to film a whole full length tying video here. I will try my best to make it watchable. So today we're gonna to tie a little Mayer's leech, a little micro pine squirrel leech. I'm gonna be using, today I've got a fire hole sticks, size 10 jig hook. We're using some micro squirrel zonkers. All these particular ones, I got a fly fish food. The color's claret, so it's kind of that purpley maroon color. Use whatever thread you like. I've had good luck with the UTC 70. It's just what I'm comfortable with. It doesn't really matter, just a small thread. I typically go as small as I can on any given fly. We're gonna add a little bit of flash to this guy. So I'm gonna use a little bit of flashaboo. I find that the flash boot works just as well as the spooled tinsel stuff. You get quite a bit out of it, and I think there's more colors to choose from. And it's really thin. I tie a lot of chironomids, so when you're tying that real small stuff, the nice thin flash boot is definitely a bonus. So let's get going. I've got a tungsten head turner bead. I'm just going to get my thread started. Take that away and get a nice little thread base going here. At this point, we will tie in our flashaboo. I'm gonna use a couple pieces because it's so thin and this pattern's not tiny. So a couple pieces will help us get coverage. Tie that in right back up to the bead. And at this point, I'll go ahead and lock that bead in place with some wraps. Making sure it's sitting how I want it. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and throw in a whip. And I'm gonna use the rotary on my vise to spin this flash on. This is just kind of a little underbody um, don't got to be real careful with it. We're going to go ahead and throw some UV resin on this to help protect it because it is not the strongest of materials. Go ahead and catch that in. A couple turns behind, a couple turns in front, and we can cut that out. All right, so like I said, this isn't the strongest material ever, so we're gonna give it just a little bit of UV resin in hopes of making this fly a little more durable. Just a real quick light coat. And I think that, honestly, I think the UV resin kind of helps that holographic tinsel pop a little bit. Give that a zap. So here we're going to tie in the zonker. I pre-cut a piece here. I like to go about twice the length of the shank. So there's one, two, and then the, the hairs will trail off the end a little bit, making it even a little bit longer, so I'm okay with that. I went ahead and stripped a little bit of the hair off the tying point. We're just going to tie this in right on top. Actually, if we're thinking about it, that's right on bottom because this hook is going to ride inverted with that head turner bead on there. All right. Doesn't have to be perfect, because we are going to make a dubbing loop and put a little collar on this guy. So again, just in case I bump my thread, let's go ahead and throw a couple turn whip finish in there. So what I've done here, so I've just taken 
some of that same squirrel hair, put it in a material clip, and cut the leather off. So I'll go ahead and throw that right in our dubbing loop. Make sure it's where you want it. The squirrel hair can be a little finicky. It's super fine. Then we go ahead and twist this up. Give that a little brush out. Looks like I did miss a tiny piece of the leather. I'm going to try to get that out of there. I think I got it. And then again, I'm going to use the rotary function on my vise. Go ahead and get your fingers a little bit wet and brush everything back. Bring that right up tight to the bead. Catch your dubbing loop in. I'm going to wet my fingers, stroke everything back, get a couple of good tight turns in there. And now basically we're ready to finish this fly. Now I want to be real careful about not getting any resin or super glue on the hair and matting it down. So what I like to do is just take some UV resin. I like the thin stuff and just coat it right onto the thread itself. Doesn't take a lot. And then we'll go ahead and whip. sure that's nice and seated. Give that a shot. Nice little brush out. I still got a little bit of the A little bit of the leather in there and that's going to bug me. Probably wouldn't matter. There we go. Now it's gone. And that is a beautiful little Mayor's Leech. This thing's going to ride like that and this tail is going to swim and swing. And I've had really good luck with these flies, especially late last season. These guys were killers for me. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you like and don't like about this pattern or what you like and don't like about my videos. I'd love to see them. Um, if you like it, feel free to give a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, feel free to uh, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.